As everyone knows, we're celebrating our 150th birthday this Canada Day. Um, I met Elizabeth and Susan, who have come into our office with these great candidate cookies, and I actually wanted to present this book, which encompasses what people feel of Canada on our 150th birthday. And I'm just going to turn it over and let them explain a little bit about the book and perhaps read a poem. Sure, we're honored to present uh, for Canada's 150th birthday, Canada, our home anthology. The Mississauga Writers Group collected stories from Elizabeth Seton School and the Philip Pocock School and about what they love about Canada as well as our own members that immigrated to Canada or were born in Canada, so it's all about Canada and uh, what we love about our country. So I'd like to read um, a poem that was written by Brian Fan, he's a 16-year-old student and um, from Vietnam, and uh, the title is Canada. So I'll just read uh, yeah. part of it. Go ahead. To Canada, I come here with my legs shivering, my hands stuffed with hatred, and my eyes searching, searching for dangers, searching for peace. But you welcome me. You give me peace. To Canada, I was born to feel pain, feed on quietness. I was born to see blood feed on selfishness. I was not born to endure. I was born to flee. I did. I fled. For Canada. For I was hurt and you took care of me. For I was lonely and you gave me company. For I was a stranger and you opened your arms. For Canada. I give you my love, my heart, my soul. And wow. I'm very proud of this book and very proud of all our contributors. I think, uh, I think that says it all. We're, we're pretty lucky to live in this country. And uh, I did get a copy for the Prime Minister, so I'm going to try to get that to him as well. Yeah. Thanks Thank a lot. You. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much.